hi guys welcome back to another video and here i am with a new fresh tutorial about graphic designing in photoshop so if you are a beginner if you are new here in this field of graphic designing so don't worry i will tell you everything step by step and also you can watch out my other tutorials just like this video so a lot of people have enjoyed those tutorials and they appreciate it and there is one more thing you can download my all the images free link in the description below all the files you can download which i will use in this video so you can just download them but if you are going to download those make sure you have subscribed this channel and also like this video because these kind of videos take too much time as you know so what we are waiting for let's open photoshop so here we are in photoshop and as you can see i have created this banner already so without any waste of time let's start so first of all we will go to file and click on new now here you need to choose a size for your banner or your post so i'll choose only 1080 by 1080 because this is the perfect size for social media so now you can click on create we have a size now first of all we need to give a color in the background so you can click on this icon and choose solid color so this is my color you can copy this hit ok then select ellipse tool and create a ellipse like this and here double click on this thumbnail and choose this color or you can choose any color because i am going to change this color into gradient now let's see our banner so here are some images we need to download these kind of images so where we can download these illustration so there is a website called flat icon you can search on google and just you need to type here as your condition so just for example so this is text uh, about heart so we can search only heart here just type heart and then you can see here lot of icons here so i got this icon same yeah this one so you can download this as a png so just what you need to do you need to just click on this png free download so here it's downloaded so these all the images are in the same size you can see so second thing this improve bones so we can just type here bones so like this you can like here this one so that's it you can download like this so let's drop these images into there so just select one by one and select rectangle tool just create a rectangle like this make it round fully round and now this round rectangle will be little highlight color so click on this s and choose a little bright color like this yeah this much is fine now we will go to effects and click on drop shadow and just a little bit we want shadow so maybe like this yeah like this we can create so drag this rectangle below the image so now we can see our image here so you can duplicate like this also just duplicate it we can align them after the space alignment so now select all the rectangle and select move tool go to this three dot and click on this alignment so now these all the same alignment but these all two fit so just give some space here like this not too much like that like this yeah now select all the rectangle once again go to here click on that perfect so now you can see the color of the these images like saturated but here these all are different so how to color them like this so what we will do 
click on that knee image and go to here click on bright and contrast click on this icon and decrease brightness like this so now you can see a red color in the image perfect now same thing for this image now i think the size of the rectangle is too high so i'll delete that one yeah perfect now it's time to add here our image this one and i put here and second image also this one so here we need to work on this image so first of all we will do select subject now just create a mask on it and press ctrl d select move tool put it here ctrl t resize it yeah now select this mask click on that mask press b to select brush tool and hardness should be zero size you can choose your own size and if it is black here so it will remove the image if it is white here so it will get back the image like that so what we need to do we need to remove the background manually from the down perfect we have removed the background perfectly nice now let's put it here press ctrl t and then we will type here our text so this one i can just put it here because this is a simple text only you can write it down i will tell you what is the font size and what is the font i have used so this is mount serret this is bold and size you can choose your own size so it is not the thing you have to follow just see if it is fitting in your design so the text color is same just like here on this image this one or this blue color so our half work is done now it's time to add here the text so we will type here omega 3 the product name and this is the text ares bold so i have downloaded this font from adobe font website i don't know it is available on internet as a free font so you can just try it out on the internet and i'll put it here now below this text we need to give a tagline just like this one so we will create a rectangle here like this and just round it fully and the color of the tab will be like this blue and the text will be white here so i'll just copy this text so this is only same fonts uh, mount serret and this is medium that's it now you can align this text according to this blue rectangle now what we need to do just decrease the space this one so click on this and just decrease this to zero so 
I think maybe we need more so make it 50 here oh sorry 50 yes like this perfect so this is done now we need to give a price text here just like this one how to do that very simple just create a rectangle like this make it fully round and make it white color another rectangle so just duplicate that press ctrl t and put it here just decrease the roundness like this and click on this field close it open stroke by white color A stroke size we can give five oh this is too much two yes press ctrl t and make it like this yeah like that and then we can put here the text so just i will drag it here the text like that we need to give a gradient on this ellipse so go to fx and click on this gradient overlay now choose the color this one and second one this one just make it little bright like that hit ok and maybe more bright we need and other one this also yes so if we like do this and yeah like this nice now click on this image press ctrl j ctrl t flip right click flip vertical and put it here make it 20 put it down below this image and this one also press ctrl j ctrl t right click flip vertical and put it down um, below the image and decrease the opacity to 20 like this now we need to work on the shadow so create a new layer below these two images press b right click select normal brush hardness should be zero and the color will be black only so just click and set black now click press ctrl t and do like this like that so here we have given the shadow for the product image so select this shadow and press ctrl j move it here press ctrl t and just do like this so here we need to give shadow like that ctrl alt and drag put it here ctrl alt and drag put it here so we need to give three shadows for the capsules now we need to remove this part from the bottle so click on this black colored mask press b and hardness should be 100 percent and just remove it from here like this perfect nice now here on the other side we can put the logo like this i forgot we need to give a little effect like this so how to do that so press ctrl r to set ruler and put it here now what you need to do create a mask on the rectangle so click on this mask icon press b to select brush tool make it black color here and hardness should be zero now just uh, select your like put your brush near the edge near the ruler like this and just one click come down click on this rectangle create a mask one click like this and it looks pretty cool 
also we can increase a little bit size this bottle image so like this we have created this one so i hope you really like the video and if you like don't forget to subscribe the channel and also like this video it will help me guys to continue with uploading these kind of tutorials on this channel so i hope i meet you in the next video until take care and thank you so much